Ali, I'll give you one guess <laughs> as to what is waiting for us at Bivelzook Dam. It is our dear friend, the very lonely hippopotamus bull, who has got no more friends because they've up and left him. Please open your mouth for us. Oh, you will make my day if you give us some entertainment, hippopotamus, because if you only know... Yeah, ah, almost. That counts. Thank you, hippo. You are the best. You know what? Nature is just so fantastic at times. I know it sounds really silly. Hippo, you are great. You really and truly have made my day because you don't know what, what quietness we've had to endure for the past 40 minutes. So thank you. And if you want to splash about and porpoise, I'll be happy and I'll even give you a round of applause if you open your mouth once more. Once more? No? Now, of course, I think he's just getting excited because it's cooler, so he might get out of the water a little bit earlier today. And, and well, the only animal that seems to be following us around are the oxpeckers, by the looks of it. The yellow-billed oxpeckers, not the yellow-billed, the red-billed oxpeckers. And this is the greatest sight that you can get, is oxpeckers using either buffalo to dangle off them to drink water, or even better, landing on a hippopotamus's snout and sipping the water that way. Isn't that beautiful? I love that shot. Now, my dream is to one day be eye level with the hippopotamus and have a sighting like this where the ox pickers land. I just think that that would make for the most beautiful view and the most perfect picture. Hello boy. But he's he's probably going to get excited again now. We might see him open his mouth and porpoise around. Like I said, it is cooler. So he could get ready to go out on a grazing adventure a little bit later, much earlier than what he normally would. I suspect Sebastian and I are going to have to put our jerseys on even earlier than 4.30. What do you think? I think so. So it's almost 4.30 now, so it's seven minutes time we're going to have to put our jerseys on because the wind is definitely quite chilly today. And hopefully that means uh, that Tingana is also going to wake up from his slumber a little bit earlier uh, than normal and go about on a walkabout. Now I've had a scan around the dam and unfortunately our friend the grey heron is not here today either. He's obviously moved off to greener pastures. Perhaps he's moved towards Wuyatil Dam. And that's going to be the next dam that we eventually go to. I'm just holding out to see if our hippo is going to open his mouth once more. Because that was really beautiful that he did that. But he's just gone under the water now. Let's see if he... There we go. I can see some bubbles starting. Oh, there's a world. Look at the water, how it's moving about. I think he was rolling, actually, underneath the water. Can you see that? I think he's having a great time. It's quite deep there. Are you having a fantastic afternoon all by yourself? All by myself. <laughs> is it, does it go like that, Sebastian? I think that's the song. I don't really know. Something is, the lyrics are somewhere along those lines. I wonder if he sings that to himself. Probably not. I don't know if hippos... Well, they do sing. They have a beautiful call. And we were lucky enough to hear it, too. And now you're just going to show us your ears, not even your eyes. And this is, of course, a typical view that most people see of hippos. And I always say that uh, guests who are lucky enough to come to Africa and see them opening their mouths, especially in South Africa, there's not too many spots where you're lucky to get hippos porpoising around unless you go and visit Chitwa Dam every single afternoon. Then you'll see that. But I always talk about the Great Zambezi River, and it's the same in the Delta and all over other places where there's filled with hippos. There are loads and loads of action. Whew. Now this is a tri tricky one. Ruti, you've said, can you tell the difference between a male and a female hippo when you can just see their head? It's very difficult, especially when it's just one hippo on its own. So like we know that this young fella is a boy, just purely from the, how broad his head is and also the size of his, his his teeth they're getting quite large when he opens his mouth you can see that he's still young though he's not a fully grown hippo in my opinion and um, when they are together though when they're in a pod it becomes a little bit easier but again when you get a young male hippo he looks just the same as a female hippo but you can pick out the big bull when they're out on land it's a little bit easier because their size difference is uh, definitely apparent but in the water you just take a guess you sort of look at their structure again a hippo on its own all by itself most likely will be a bull 
uh, females would typically have a group of her offspring from various years or and other females with the same thing so they live in larger family groups it would be unusual to just see one hippo one female hippo by herself but he's moving off now i wonder where he's going to are you going to go out get out the water for us I think I might be asking a little bit much, but under he goes, sinking down to the bottom, and I think the water gets quite shallow over there, so he'll be able to walk along the water at quite a pace, and then when he needs to, he'll pop up, take a breath, but he doesn't look to be in a, in a hurry any, at any time soon.